We're back at World Motorsports. Thank you to my good friend, Craig Paisley. Uh, this is his shop. We've been doing a lot of work um, here at World Motorsports. You may have seen all the testing that we did with the 992 turbo intercoolers that we came out with last year. World Motorsports has been a great partner for CSF, very instrumental in all the data collection, fitment. It's really a great place to be able to come and really learn from you know high quality techs like uh, Craig and his uh, main tech, Arthur, here on how good these intercoolers really work. Here, we're with our new Ferrari 488 Pista intercoolers. We're doing these with PWR, another one of our high-end collaborations. Right off the bat, you can see the difference between the OEM ones and uh, the new upgraded ones. It's going on a 488 with upgraded turbos from yep. Pure Turbos. Yep. And uh, it's got downpipes on the car. Yep. And it's gonna get tuned by M Engineering tomorrow as well. Yes. Right? Okay, cool. So uh, one of the things that Craig's been helping me over the last couple of days is getting the intercoolers, both the original and the CSF ones, uh, wired up for testing. Craig, tell us a little bit more about what your methodology is going to be for the testing. Uh, it's pretty simple. We're just going to test the intake temperatures in and out of the intercoolers, pressure in and out of the intercoolers, compare the stock one to the uh, CSF one, and see how well they work. Initially, we're going to do one stock and one CSF. Yeah, we're right? going to test them all at the same time. Perfect. And you know, there's two banks, V8, so you're going to be able to read that data yep. and really see how they work in the same exact testing, not even back to back, but simultaneously get that A and B comparison. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to swap out to both CSFs when the car's going through its final tuning. Yep. Some of the things that you can see from the CSF versus the original, 27 rows versus the original that has 18. So it's got about 50% more rows. It's got a lower fin height, and it's gonna give you a lot more surface area contact. Hopefully this car is really gonna do well with these new intercoolers. Uh, you know, you're adding a lot of more power with the tune, the turbos and the downpipes. You really need good intercoolers to reject all that heat. So a lot of guys who have been trying to push the Ferrari um, limit are trying to say, hey, car kind of feels like it's heat soaking after a couple runs. So hopefully this will fix the trick. So today uh, we just got this wired up with the sensors. Um, so this is pre and post uh, pressure and temperature. And uh, we're gonna get these in and we're gonna see how they do. Today is day two at World Motorsports uh, with the Ferrari 488 in our new intercoolers that we've made with PWR. Today I have John Helbin from M Engineering, good friend. We've done a couple other projects together. Extremely instrumental in helping us release our McLaren intercoolers. You guys did a great job with our 992 turbo intercoolers, so it's great to have you, you know, drive out from Phoenix today. Uh, I know you're a busy man with a lot of different cars to tune, and uh, I'm excited to see what you do with this Ferrari. So this car has uh, pure turbos, it's got downpipes, did we find out if they're catless or not? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Shh. And then it's got an exhaust, and obviously it's going to have the M Engineering tune on it. The Ferrari tuning world is something that's a little bit, I think, more modest or conservative than what you see with like the V10 platform with the Lamborghinis yeah. and R8s or Porsche <laughs> tuning. But I feel like it's starting to come along a little bit more. I feel like these guys have felt a little left out, and now you know with them being turbo vehicles, uh, you can do some you know bolt-ons and get a good tune and uh, be able to make some good power. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've done quite a few Ferraris, and we've talked about making it one of our next platforms we venture into to support with custom features and OBD flashing and all that kind of stuff. That's great. Well, uh, let's see what John does to this car. Uh, we're here again at World Motorsports. We're on their you know, fabulous wind tunnel dyno. Really is the best one in SoCal to be using. So uh, that's why we're always up here. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see what you do with it. Thanks, John. Appreciate Thank you. you. Okay. The end of the fifth gear pull. So the intercoolers are working pretty well. That's great. Um, 
You have a so. you can't measure pressure drop on that stuff. That's another log, right? Nah, that would be on the yeah. AEM data that Arthur did. Yeah, that's got like pressure drop and uh, yeah. intercooler efficiency. Wow. Okay, so stuff. five degrees from 28, 23 to twenty eight. Yeah, that that kind of makes perfect sense. It's about sixty degrees outside, so twenty three is seventy five degrees, which is probably about what the ambient air is. You know, yeah. going into the cooler. Um, so yeah, like twenty eight to eighty two. That's not. Good. And the recovery is pretty good yeah. too. It doesn't like hit and hold it doesn't sit at like 30 degrees it's already back so it comes down. back down yeah after probably about 15 seconds it's already back down to 23 degrees nice see? okay yeah, it's, it's good that's encouraging no yeah i like it it made 680 right now yeah so, uh, this car's down around 530 to 550 yeah so that's pretty good jump on especially on 91 yeah